Yo, what's up guys and welcome to uh, my Smogon Classic Black and White Cup Round 1 games. Uh, basically the Smogon Classic is, I might as well just show you while we're talking about it. Or it's have to show you anyway. So, I don't know why it's so big on here. But the Smogon Classic is a bunch of tours. Um, black and White. And then you have 4th Gen DVP, 3rd Gen ADV, uh, GSC which is 2nd Gen, and then RBY which is 1st Gen. And you sign up. Um, and you basically do a bunch of rounds, best of threes, and if you win or get a bunch of points, you make it into playoffs, and then you play uh, a best of five versus your opponent. But um, in any case, here we have my black and white cup. I actually enter black and white, uh, ADV and DVP, and I'll be bringing those games as soon as I play them. But here we have uh, my first game versus Fat King. He's actually a teammate of mine. He was on the uh, Wi-Fi with Pack alongside me. He played Little Cup. Now. Um, my team actually has a pretty decent matchup, I would say, just because his answers to Latios are very limited, especially because I have HP Fire and Surf, so Hippo's going to be too KO'd easily without me having to go for Draco, or drop a Draco, as uh, a young YouTuber once said. Ah. <laughs> and I have HP Fire, Pharaoh Thorn. Um, I do want to worry or watch out for his Arena Quest, but between Taunt, Skarmory, SD, Garchomp, Encore, Alakazam, and even Tyranitar, I feel like Arena Quest is dealt with pretty easily so I decided to actually lead off with uh, my Rotom just because it matches up pretty well versus the majority of his team I can burn most of his team with that as he chooses to lead off with his own Rotom so I figured okay might as well just trade uh, Will-O-Wisp right here I unfortunately missed uh, turn one which I guess could have been bad if I didn't win this speed tie or I don't know if it was a speed tie I was min speed Rotom uh, he could have been uh, min speed Rotom with some negative IVs to get the uh, Vault Switch momentum, but thankfully I do hit right there as um, He is gonna bring out his Reuniclus. That's completely fine I can go right for the Vault Switch right here I do have a Spadef Skarmory which should take it on really relatively well If he wants to combine up I taunt it and then stall it out uh, It only has eight Focus Blasts by the way, so I got Skarmory as he goes right for the Focus Blast I do get a crit a little bit unfortunate for him um, He'll get a little bit of Karma back later on as you guys will see But I'm gonna taunt him right here because I don't want to roost and have him combined up or have him hit him with another Focus Blast as he does choose to combine up and what I can do is just put up a spike. He doesn't have a, a spinner at all on his team. And spikes put like Sableye in range of Draco. It puts Hippo in range of two surfs. I decided to actually stay in right here and go for a second spike. Uh, because I kind of figured because I showed Rotom, he would go for like foul play with his Sableye. He I, I figured he wouldn't taunt. That's all I figured he would do. And I actually didn't think he would go for Willowis just because Rotom was already burnt. So I actually thought he would um, attack with his Sableye right there. Like go for like foul play or something though it wouldn't have done much to run him anyway uh, but i didn't think he would go for a will but either way i knew i can get up a second spike relatively safely so i'm gonna go into my rotom right now on an expected taunt and what i can do is pretty much vault switch around on him as he does go for a second will -O good play on his part expecting my switch though again rotom is already burnt which is why i didn't expect him to will us right there but i guess he didn't feel like predicting so he goes for taunt right here i guess expecting me to want to go for will as i um you know i expect the taunt it's what sableye does so i vault switch out into my life or bladios his only switch in is pharaoh thorn so i am going to predict that and uh go for the hp fire basically if sableye goes down then alakazam wrecks his team so I didn't think he would sack Sableye so I go for HP Fire predicting the Feral Thorn to want to come out as I do catch that and it is a solid two Akio Spikes would be able to knock it out I'm gonna go for a second HP Fire as he does protect I don't care I don't care at all um, Spikes would knock out uh, Feral Thorn well not this range it would do it would knock him out before but I'm gonna go for a third HP Fire as we are able to knock out the Feral Thorn I have no reason to over predict right here at all his only mod that threatens me is this Garchomp which I'm thinking is Choice Scarf um, the good thing is that my Skarmory can actually take two Outrages at the range it's at. So what I'm going to do is um, tank the uh, Dual Chop, actually, and go for the uh, Roost right here. Actually, if he locked himself in the Outrage, that's fine. I have Ice Beam on Titar to Revenge kill him anyway. Pretty sure I had Ice Beam. So if he locked himself in that, I would just Ice Beam with Titar and knock him out. And then Latios just has fun. But I Roost up on the Rotom Switch as I am going to go right back out into my Latios. I don't think he burned. I think he just go right for Volts. It's just because my Skarmory is already burnt. And... Um, Ends up Vault Switching right back out into that Garchomp. I don't really mind that too much. Uh, at this point, I don't want him um, necessarily doubling into Rotom, predicting my Skarmory. I thought I could go out to T-Tar. Uh, one, I could tank two Outrages, depending on rolls. Um, unfortunately for me, though, he does get a higher roll in the second one, so he's able to knock me out with that. But at this point, I could have went out into Skarmory, but the reason I actually didn't is because I know that Alakazam, uh, I am Focus Ash 1, and 2, I also know that even though I don't have HP Ice, I know that Psychic will put this Garchomp in range of spikes. So next time he comes in, he'll go down. And uh, that means that my Latios has, is free to drop Dracos, it's free to Surf Hippos, and... <laughs> 
why did, why did I make it sound like that? So I go out to Alex Zim, gonna live the outrage because of the focus sash, and I am able to hit him with the next psychic right here. Now, at this point, um, I make, I guess, a bit of a... I don't want to say it's a bad play because, as you can see, I'm not going to be too KO'd by his Outrage. But I should have sacked my Alakazam to go out to Skarmory from there. But at the same time, I did have Encore on Alakazam, so I wanted to be able to lock the uh, Runiclus into Recover, or Psychic or something like that, or lock Hippo into Stealth Rocks, um, or anything like that. So that's why I wanted to save my Alakazam. So I go out to Skarmory knowing that I can fully well take two Outrages as he breaks out and he crits me. On the one turn that he needed the crit, he crit my Skarmory. Now I have to play around with him hitting himself in confusion because I'm SD Garchomp, which can still sweep him. It has such a good chance of sweeping him. It can really sweep him, especially with the spikes up. So my best play is sacking Rotom at this point, going out into my Garchomp and going for SD, hoping that he hits himself in confusion. That way he knocks himself out and then I get the plus two and then potentially sweep his team. But nope, he breaks right through as he's able to knock me out with the outrage right there. I'm going to go out to Alexam again, hoping he hits himself. Latio still has a chance to win the game if I crit uh, a few Mons with Draco. He snaps out of confusion, knocks out my Alakazam, and my Latios is gonna go down to the Outrage as well. And that is game, so... <laughs> Hax was dead. Luck was not in my favor. Not only did he break through them all, but he also crit my Skarmory at the moment he needed to. Like I said, I guess I could have saved Alakazam, or sacked Alakazam to bring out Skarmory safely, but I really wanted Alakazam as alive just for that Encore um, to do it versus his team and to you know, threaten him with that. I was thinking about the end game, but I guess uh, in black and white, if you guys know, crits are doubled. Any gen basically besides uh, six gen crits don't do 1.5 times, they do two times damage. So that's why he was able to knock me out with that. So that's really unfortunate for me, but there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. Uh, we're gonna go out to game two. This is a best of three. Now this time I'm using Rain. Uh, shout out to the Finchinator for the teams, by the way. And uh, as you can see, by his team, if I get a Brox with my Feral Thorn, which is pretty easy, I get a Brox on most of his members, like Gastrodon, his own Feral Thorn, Titar, things like that, even Landers. Basically, anything with Mew, I get a Brox versus because Mew can taunt me. If I get a Brox, Hurricane Tornadus literally destroys his entire team, and I can just focus last Titar, and I win. I 2 KO everything, and I win. So that's the game plan get up Brox, spam Hurricane, get rid of his Titar as uh, easy as possible. So or as close as possible. I decided to lead off with my Landorus because I am Choice Scarf, I can U-turn him out of there, or HP Ice his own Landorus, uh, yada yada yada. Basically, if it led off a T-Tar or Latios, I was pretty safe to U-turn. I didn't think he would be Scarf Latios. Specs is the most common set run in black and white. Specs Latios is so strong, guys. When there's no fairy types around, Specs Latios is king. It is actually king. Um, but I'm gonna U-turn out of there into my Ferrothorn because like I said, really, really nice opportunity to get up rocks. I do crit him turn one and he immediately pays me back by freezing me with this Ice Beam. Now, he can recover versus majority of my members, versus Starmie, versus Politoed, versus Toxicroak, so I don't think the crit mattered too much. I'm frozen, and you know, Fab King actually being a friend of mine, he was like, do you wanna restart the game? But I don't actually know if that's you know in the rules or not, and it's Pokemon, so I was like, no, let's just keep playing, whatever. I hope to thaw right here. I actually go right for power first, just in case he wanted to recover, be a little bit cheeky right there as he brings out Titar. And right here, I expect him to Stealth Rock, so I'm actually gonna go for the power up again and then go for Stealth Rock in the following turn, which is my play. But he does rocks up, and I am frozen. But I know that if he has a fire move, one, Ferrothorn will live it, even if it's Fire Blast, even if I'm four times weak to it, which it is, I know Ferrothorn can live it. Fire Blast will thaw my ice, be uh, will thaw my frozen Ferrothorn, and I can get up rocks and still potentially win with my Tornadus. There's still a chance, but he crits me with the Fire Blast, and my Ferrothorn goes right down. So there goes the rocks, and now my play is, now I actually have to hope for hacks. And some people might saying, well, Joey, you're complaining about hacks and then you're going for hacks right here because basically at this point, my chance, my only way of winning is freezing the Mew. Freezing the Mew is one of my best ways of winning because I don't have to deal with that because no rocks are up or freezing Landorus because it's more likely Scarf Landorus since he's rocks, T-Tar. Um, those are pretty, or not even knocking out Landers. I don't think freezing Landers is an option. I'm pretty sure Ice Punch would knock him out or at least put him in range of Sucker Punch. So I went right for Ice Punch right here, trying to freeze the Mew. I actually get a crit, which is not what I wanted. I wanted to freeze. And again, I'm still trying to go for my best odds at winning because now at this point, I've already lost game one due to the Outrage crit. And um, I'm just trying to make it to a game three. I don't care how I win this game, I want to win this game so I can make it to a game three. So I go for Ice Punch right there because I have to get this freeze on Mew in order to potentially do some work and I'm pretty much forced to switch out, I don't want to get burnt. I guess I could have gone for the second Ice Punch to potentially freeze him right there, uh, which was, you know, a potential play. 
um it would have been great if i got it but i'm gonna go out to my polytoad on the will-o-wisp and um at this point i uh I'm not sure if I actually go for Hydro Pump or Hypnosis. I believe I go for the um, Hypnosis or the Toxic, excuse me. I go for Toxic right here, expecting Gastron. I want to come out as he goes for Feral Thorn. Completely fine. I'm going to switch out into my Toxic Croak because with the Rain Up, I can at least uh, take, you know, a Power Whip and then get a bit of recovery because of my dry skin because I'm ashy. Call me Shofu. I'm just kidding, bro. And uh, he goes out into his Gastron, though. So I'm forced to go out to my Tornadus. I don't want to take an Earth Power or Earthquake as he doubles out into his Latios. And at this point, I need Starmie because I need to be able to uh, basically hit this Mew with Hydro Pumps. I need Polytoad for the rain. I need Landorus. And uh, my hope right here is I need Landorus because I need to be able to, at least if I can get rid of Latios and Landorus, I can sweep him with Earthquake uh, if I weaken his team. And I, if, basically, I needed all my Mons, I felt, at this point. I wanted to spin away the Hazards uh, for Tornadus later, so... At this point, I'm going for Hurricane to try and confuse him. Um, with Roxa, maybe I would have went for U-Turn right there, but I do not, and he's able to drop a Draco and knock me out, as I am going to go out to my Starmie now. Um, at this point, I could either go for Rapid Spoon or Ice Beam. I guess Ice Beam is fine as well, as he decides to go out into his uh, Tyranitar on the Rapid Spin. Uh, Analytic Ice Beam plus Hydro Pump might have been able to knock him out, um, but... We will see right here, yeah, Analytic Hydro Pump plus Ice Beam would definitely be able to knock him out. Unfortunately, though, that's not the case. He is able to get up his rocks one more time. And uh, at this point, I can go for Rapid Spin again. I could also go for Ice Beam if I want to. I decided to actually go for the Rapid Spin just because if I knock him out anyway, he's just going to go out to Scarf Landers and U-Turn into Latios and get a kill. So I'm able to Rapid Spin away his rocks at least right there. So now I'm going for the Ice Beam. Trying to freeze him on a turn and force him to go for Scald to thaw out. Um, again, I'm going for my best possible play at this point. I don't have any other plays at this point, so I'm not just going to fall over and give up when I'm in this situation. So I go for the Ice Beam as he is able to knock me out with his own Ice Beam. As uh, what I can do now is go out into my... Um, what I can do now is go out to my Polytoad and pretty much pray that I hit this Hypnosis because if I hit Hypnosis, I can potentially SD up and try and win. So he goes Feral Thorn. I actually go for the Ice Beam first right here. And then uh, now what I'm actually going to do is um, attempt to go for the Hypnosis as I do connect. Now at this point, I thought, okay, he has to know that if I go out to Toxic Coke and SD up, he might be in a situation. So um, I would think that he would go out into like Gastrodon or something like that or anything along those lines. So I decided to go for the Toxic expecting me or Gastrodon because I thought, okay, if he's asleep and I go out to Toxic Coke and I SD up a couple of times, you know, you could be in a problem. But he decides to stay in as um, he is going to switch out now into his Latios and at this point, I, he's more than likely just going to trick me. So what I'm going to do is go out into my Polytoad to take the uh, incoming trick as he does trick me a choice specs. It doesn't necessarily matter though because he could just drop a Draco after that and pretty much kill everything. Uh, at this point I actually decide to forfeit because it's pretty much over. So unfortunately my black and white, uh, excuse me, my um, yeah my black and white cup run or whatever ends in round one. But hopefully in advance and DBP, GSC and RBY I can do better. Um, I don't I think that I definitely would have had game one and game two definitely would have been hard even with rocks up uh, but tornadoes would have been able to spam his hurricane it just would have been so much easier to have my feral thorn alive to get up rocks and have it at full to switch into Lottie's Dracos and things like that and potentially just wear him down with stealth rock plus hurricane and proceed to sweep him from there but that's not what happens and that's not the way Pokemon goes sometimes it is what it is though um, I've already learned that can't do something sometimes but uh, fat king's a great dude anyway he's a really nice friend and um yeah i hope he does well in the uh, black and white cup but uh, in any case guys hope you all enjoyed feel free to leave a like subscribe do your thing definitely i'll be back with some more tournament matches let me actually show you something um i don't want to jinx myself i really hope i do well on this but uh as for tournaments right now i am in uh, round six of uh, the official smog on tour i play uh I play We Came as Romans this week, but yeah, so I'm doing okay. I'm in top 32 right now, which is pretty cool, higher than I think I've been in this tour ever. I don't really take this tour super seriously though, but now I am really trying and I'm happy that Jammer is helping me and things like that with testing and building with me and just, you know, 
give me a stall process and certain things. But uh, yeah, so I'm trying to do my best in this to either try and win this or yeah, I want to win this obviously. So hopefully I don't jinx myself and lose the week games Romans this week. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. So uh, leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe, do your thing, and I will see you guys later. Cue the outro. Thank you.